Hello guys, I'm Yadav Reddy and welcome to the series of Java for Absolute Beginners. In this video, we will discuss about while and do while statements in Java. So generally, we have four types of looping statements in Java, right? Those are while, do while, for, for each. So out of these four statements, we will look at the while and do while statements in this video. And in my next video, I will try to cover for and for each statements. Okay? So first of all, what is a while statement? The while statement continuously execute a block of statements while a particular condition is true. So that means here we are executing some statements continuously. So we are executing these statements continuously until the condition is actually returning false. Okay. So when the condition is actually returning true, we are executing the statements. So until the condition is returning false, we will execute that. Okay. So when the condition is actually returning false, we will break that one and we will come out of it. That means we will not execute the statements anymore. Okay. So first let's see the syntax of this while statement. Then we will look at one example. Okay. So here as the name suggests, while statement means first we need to write the while keyword. Okay. While and open the braces and close the braces and open the curly braces and close the curly braces. So here in this parenthesis, we need to write the expression. Okay. So you can say expression or you can call it as a condition also. Okay. So this is where the expression or condition will be placed. And inside this while we write the code or statements we can say statements or code that we want to execute. So here what happens you will write some condition right. So until this condition is actually returning false you will execute this statement. That means when this condition is actually returning true you are executing this. So if the condition is returning false we will not execute this. Okay. So that is the syntax guys. So now let's look at one example. For example, I want to print 10 values. Okay. So 1 to 10, I want to print. Let me take one variable here. I will say i equal 0. So I have declared one variable and I have initialized the variable with 0 value. So now here I need to write the condition, right? So I will say i less than 10. Okay. That means until the i value is less than 10, I can execute this statement. So let me write one statement. I will simply print the i value here. So after this, I need to increase the value or decrease the value, right? So you need to perform any one operation, either increment operation or decrement operation. Otherwise, this loop will be an infinite loop. Why? Because the i value is zero. So you're not increasing or decreasing the i value, right? So it will always a zero and zero less than 10. So that is always true, right? So this condition will never return false. So it is always returning true only. So that means this loop, whatever we have written, this loop will be continuously executing. Okay. So that is why we have to increase or decrease the values. So I plus plus. So here I'm increasing the value because my value is starting from zero, right? I need to increase the value to reach till 10. So that is why I'm increasing the value. So now let me just execute this program. So here in the right side console, you can see the values are printed, right? So first zero value will be going. Okay. And it will compare zero less than 10 and it is returning true, right? So it will print this value. So that is zero. Okay. Then next time I value will be incremented. So I is one. Okay. So I that means one less than 10. That is also true, right? So it will print the one value also like that. It will try to print. Okay. So when the I value reaches nine here, it will print a nine, then it will increment the I value. So when the I value is incremented, it will be 10, right? So here the condition is checked next time. Okay. 10 less than 10. So that is returning false, right? Because 10 will not be lesser than 10. So that is why this condition is actually returning false. So that time it will come out of it. So it will not print 10 value here. So that is why you are not seeing 10 value here. Okay. So this is how we actually work with while statements. So you got the idea, right? Why we are actually using the while statement. So it is almost similar to a if condition only, but with looping. Okay. In if condition, what we actually do, we verify the condition, then we execute some code, right? Here also we are verifying the condition and we are executing the code, but this code we are executing continuously. Okay. In the if condition only once the code is ex actually executed, but here the code will be executed until this condition is actually returning false. Okay. So that is how this while is actually working. So next we will look at the do while statement. So what is actually a do while statement? So in this while, what we are doing, we are verifying the condition first, then we are executing the statements, right? In the do while, it is a little bit reverse. Okay. So what we actually perform in do while is 
first we execute the statements then we verify the condition okay here first we are verifying the condition right so if the condition is actually written in true then only we are executing the statements if the condition is written in false then we will not execute anything we will come out of it right but in the do while first we execute the statement then we verify the condition so before i explain the do while let me show you one more example with the while only okay so here if i put 10 what happens this condition will be written false right so this will not print anything right so let me just verify that so now you see nothing is printed in the console right why because the i value is 10 so already it is 10 so 10 will not be lesser than 10 so this condition is actually returning false so that is why this while is not executing okay so this while will be executed only when this condition is returning true right so let me implement the do while here so i'll just comment this so i will write the do while so how do we write the do while the same way first we need to write the do block then while block so here we have created a do block then we have added the while so here we don't have while block we have the do block and we have the while condition so that you need to remember okay so here we need to put the expression or condition we can say okay so in the do block we will write the statements what we want to actually execute okay so let's see the same example so here i have given i equal to 10 and i am trying to print the values right so the same code i will copy here the same condition condition is also same and the statements that i am executing also same but i am putting that inside the do while statement so now let me execute this now you see we got 10 value right when we are executing this while statement we are not getting anything why because first condition is actually evaluated then it is going inside the while block only if the condition is returning true but here first do block will be executed then it will check the condition okay so here what happens now i value is 10 right so it will come to do block and it will print the value this 10 and i plus plus okay that means i is 11 then it will come here and i is less than 10 that means 11 is less than 10 so the value is actually i mean the condition is returning false right so that means it will not execute again okay so if you put 0 then it will execute okay first it will execute 0 then it will increase the value so let me execute this code now you see from 0 to 9 it is printing right so this is how we actually work with while and do while statements the only difference is in while first we verify the condition then we execute the statements and in the do while first we execute the statement then from the second iteration we verify the condition okay the first iteration will be always executed without any condition checking in the do while from the second iteration we verify the condition so based on the condition return value we execute the statements okay but here from the first iteration itself we verify the condition so that is the main difference between while and do while statements guys so that is about while and do while statements in java so i hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like button and also share it with your friends so if you have any doubts or if you are facing any issues while writing this program please let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching bye bye